Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are gonna be trying some new shades that Arctic Fox released. I've seen a lot of you guys ask me if I can try these new shades for you guys. So I went ahead and purchased them. These are new pastel shades. Apparently they came out with a new collection called Pastel Hour. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's white and if you know Arctic Fox packaging, it's normally black. So this time it's white, it's like holographic and their new shades all look like this and it's part of the pastel sell our collection. So we have three new shades and then they actually pushed one of their old existing shades into the new collection. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Froze before. I've used this several times on my channel in the past. This is now a part of this collection. They're going through and trying to sell out the rest of the old packaging before they switch it over. But when you find this on the website, it does have the listing of the new packaging. Now, right away, when I unboxed this, I bought mine from Sally Beauty. So I had like tape over the top so that way it prevents like spilling during shipping. And the tape was on the packaging and when I took off the tape it ruined like all of the bottles so as you can see like right here there's a holographic patch here there's a holographic patch here right here right here anywhere the tape was touching it rips off the like design and logo and everything so i don't think these bottles are going to be very durable over time i'm sure that this is going to get scratched and it's probably not going to wear very well but i do love the holographicness so the three new shades are peach prosecco cotton candy dreams and pistachio macaron or macaroon however in the f you want to say it okay and then of course i did buy Frosé because I don't have any, so I went ahead and bought that so I could swatch it for you guys. We're gonna swatch these, see what they look like, then do color remover on them and see if they come out of the hair. Spoiler alert, they're probably gonna come out of the hair pretty easily because they're all pastel, but I am swatching them on some pretty yellow hair today. Here are the swatches, very similar to the color of my hair, so we're gonna swatch the pastels on these and see what they look like. Let me go ahead and set up a second camera angle and we will start swatching. We're gonna start with Cotton Candy Dreams. I thought cotton candy, I don't know, I was thinking more of like a pastel blue. Can you guys see? It kind of looks like a teal mint, but the inside kind of looks smoky. It does not look like this. Once you put it on blonde hair, I'm sure it will look like that. Let's go ahead and go in with cotton candy dreams. Okay, let's go ahead and work that into the hair. As I'm working it in, I do see it turning um, more of that like aqua-y color because of the yellow in the swatch. So I'm excited to rinse this and see what it looks like. Just wanna make sure because these are pastel that I'm working it into the hair really, really well. Next color we're moving on to is Peach Prosecco. I am a sucker for peach and copper and all things like orangey. Check out how smoky this is. It looks like a burnt orange. Definitely would not call it peach, and it looks very different than the packaging, but hopefully, again, the yellow will contribute to this. This color looks really pretty as I'm working it into the hair. I'm really excited to see this one rinsed out. And again, pistachio macaron or macaroon is also kind of a smoky color. So here's what it looks like. You guys can see it's kind of a grayish color. The packaging looks super, super mint compared to what's inside. All right, let's move on to our last color. Okay, here's what it looks like. This one looks way brighter than the rest. It's interesting that they decided to merge this over into the Pastel Hour collection because the other ones kind of have a cohesive, unified, smoky undertone to them, whereas Frosé does not have that at all. All right. All right, I have everything applied. I had to stick a Ricola in my mouth because I am sick and I keep coughing because I'm talking so much. So I had to stick that in my mouth, so ignore that. I just wanna mention real quick, if you've been following me for a long time, like I'm talking like five years, you would know I used to use Arctic Fox all the time. It was my favorite hair dye. I was so loyal to this brand. I love them so much. I purchased so much hair dye with my own money. I literally loved Arctic Fox so much. And back in 2020, I did make the decision to stop using them because of some allegations against the owner. Well, the owner has stepped down and they have internally restructured their whole company. I honestly could have started repurchasing them years ago, but I just still haven't. I'm still kind of just like, I don't know, bummed out by the whole situation. So I just haven't repurchased. This is actually my first time repurchasing Arctic Fox in four 
years. So yeah, just wanted to mention that real quick because I already know I'm about to get a lot of questions about it because it's been four years and I'm still getting questions about it. So yeah, you may see me use them in a future video. You may not just know they have totally internally restructured their company as well as getting rid of the old owner of Arctic Fox. So just wanted to mention that real quick because I know you guys are going to ask. I'm going to let these process 20 to 30 minutes, rinse using cold water, and we will be right back to see if they come out of the hair with some color remover, baby. All right, you guys, we are back. And before I show you guys the results, I just want to let you guys know, don't skip. I have swatches here I'm going to show you. Oh my God. My palette is available and it's on sale right now for $22, which is the cheapest it's ever been. Here's what it looks like in case you haven't seen it. And I did do swatches on my hands. So I'll show you a close up in a second because I just feel like unless you have seen this, you have no idea how gorgeous it is until you get it. But here's what my palette looks like. Even the lettering, like this is like black and holographic lettering that you just can't quite see on camera. Here's the inside, super gorgeous. It's black. Here are the colors. It also does fold over, which is amazing. I literally hate eyeshadow palettes that don't fold all the way over and it takes up like a lot of space. So I wanted this one to be like slim so it wouldn't take up a lot of space. So here is my eyeshadow palette. We have bright shades, we have duo chromes, we have neutrals, we have two highlighters that you can use as eyeshadow. I went ahead and swatched all the duo chromes as well as these two highlighters down here for you guys. So let me show you those. Look at how gorgeous these are. Again, it's they're just like so wet and shiny and it's just, they're such good quality. Here's what they look like. They are duo chrome, which I feel like is hard to show on camera. The top two up here are the two highlighters, the gold, and then the duo chrome um, like white color. So gorgeous, so pretty. I will leave a link to that in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment in case you wanna go snag her up. Okay, here are what the swatches look like. They are really, really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put the white backdrop beneath it so you guys can see what it looks like with the white behind it. Okay, there you go. I hope it helps. If not, I will take a video on my camera. Here's what they look like on my phone. They are really, really pretty and they definitely turned out closer to what the bottle shows they're gonna turn out like. They are really, really pretty shades. So here's what they look like up close. I went ahead and mixed up some Danger Jones and 10 volume. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch that halfway down and see if these come out of the hair. I'm already seeing Cotton Candy Dreams turn kind of greenish. Yeah, Cotton Candy Dreams is now like straight up like a seaweed green color. <laughs> All right, it is applied. I'm gonna go ahead and cover them up. I don't see much happening. The mint I think might come out, but I'm not sure the other colors will. This one again now looks like this color, like literally this green and this green look almost identical right now. So my thoughts are the pistachio might come out, but I don't think the other colors will. I'm gonna cover these up, let them process 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature, and I will be right back once I have these washed and blow dried so we can see if these pastels come out of the hair or if they don't. All right, you guys, I am back and let me show you the finished results and see if these colors came out of the hair or not. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised. So here are the results. Literally, uh, almost all the colors came out pretty well. I will go ahead and give you a little close up on the second cam. So here's what they look like up here on this camera. As you can see, a lot of them came out of the hair, literally. The blue is completely gone. The mint is completely gone. The orange faded a lot. Now it's just a super, super light peach. And even the pink, a lot of it faded out of the hair. Imagine if you faded your hair and washed it a few times and then did a color remover. I think all of these shades would come out of the hair very easily if they were faded first. So I'm really impressed with the colors and also how easily they come out of the hair. I cannot wait to see if they add more colors into the pastel hour collection so everybody who wanted to see the new shades here they are and i would use all of these on my hair i feel confident enough they'd come out of my hair and also they're pastel but they have a lot of pigment behind them so that way they don't just wash out in one or two washes you know like these pastels are going to stay in your hair a lot longer than like a super super light true
true pastel. I just feel like they nailed the depth on these. They're not too light or too dark. It's like a really pretty nice pastel color. I will leave a link to these in the description down below in case you want to snag them. There are a lot of people who have coupon codes. So if you do go to Arctic Fox's website, make sure to try and find a coupon code first because you're going to save yourself some money. But I will leave them linked um, down below on Sally Beauty. I think I can also have them on Amazon. Like I can find them on there. So I'll leave them linked on Amazon as well. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.